Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, you seen the fucking purse? I'm the big dills. Don't do that. Hundred dollars put your own in a bit at you heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Grr. Get your money up, not your funny up, dummy. Mofu gang. This bitch. Uh oh, put on the hater blockers. This nigga weird as hell, man. <laughs> Yo, Yo, so let me start this out by saying we're going live tonight at 9 p.m. I mean, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to talk about the binge EP. But we we already did the month full about the Ben GP. Shout out to everybody who's watching that. That's Fast. going crazy Definitely right now. Stupid. But what we gonna talk about today is some Man. stuff that's been really bothering, especially month I'm gonna let month prop get in a super 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 bad today because these things have been bothering me too. But not like this, <laughs> nigga. Cause yo, I yo listen, <laughs> listen. The bloody lit. Listen, nigga. Listen. Cause, bruh. <laughs> we about to go through. This is like a uh, for fun video. Yeah, it? facts. Dude, don't take nothing. Hold on, hold on. Off rip disclaimer. Don't take shit personal. Because we just Damn, talking don't shit. I don't if know. Huh? Ahead, go ahead, my bad. My now, bad. I don't know shit about shit. But listen, this is just what I got to go off of. So, <laughs> I'm. Listen, I'm going to say it like this. If you take offense to this, like if you are really attached to these theories to the point where you could take offense for us laughing at them, you need to be laughed at. What do you yeah. mean? Like, I, I wouldn't even watch here. the video. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, yeah, man. Just drop a yeah. comment, a thumbs up for us, and just keep it pushing because this ain't the but one, we, you heard? <laughs> but, but, but before we tell them to click off, let's tell them what the video is. <laughs> this I just want to let y'all know first. Conspiracy theories or worse explanations or craziest fan theories we have heard since this uh, Eminem and MGK thing started. I'm going to say since Kamikaze. This is the, the Kamikaze till now of like I, I feel like it theory. got real egregious after the MGK thing. Oh, God. I feel like Kamikaze didn't have as many as many conspiracy Listen. theories. <laughs> they definitely talk about somehow Kamikaze has something to do with 9-11. <laughs> so what are we going to do? We're going to go through the most hilarious, crazy different um theories that we've heard and at first i didn't think there'd be enough to make a video but oh my goodness nigga, i definitely... found like 30 and i probably got like 30 more and i'm gonna keep it a buck if i keep looking i might find like 30 more so there might be a couple of parts of this joke so if you believe in these theories or whatever whatever i need you to go in the comment section and defend them with facts defend it with facts don't defend them and i feel just defend it with facts listen Hey, what? listen, you can, but drop links in your facts. I better have cited sources. Nah, don't sources. drop links because you're going to get blocked. Just, just <laughs> cite, be like, yo, go to this website. You know what I'm saying? Just cite your sources. That's all. But Mofu Prop got the, um, what's it called? List. That's a list. All right. So he going to let them go and we're going to just talk about them. This is no not in specific you. order. This is just yeah. what I've seen and how I'm going to go. All right, so boom. <laughs> the first one. This one, this one's bad, all right? So listen, M's line and kill shot. This idiot's boss pops pills and tell him and tells him he's got skills. Wasn't what everyone thinks. I interpret it as quote: This idiot's boss Diddy pops his father. Pause. Definitely pause. Uh, spills, which means he snitches. And tells the feds, and tells them, the feds, he's got kills, murder info. Oh, listen, so, first so off, listen, wait, so wait. I interpret it as this idiot's boss, Diddy, pops his father. Spills. Now, we heard you. We heard you. I gotta read it again. Nah. Without, no, listen. I gotta give that dude credit, bro. You got you kind of you kind of low key gotta like be like, yo, you get this one because he found a way to find a line right, split up that line in a way where it still grammatically makes sense, but it like 
that is so like how do you even do that you know what i'm saying no i don't know no what you're listen no, bro, i don't know what you're that saying that is Nah, you tripping, bro. Nigga, dude, this got, idiot's listen, boss. That's a talent, bro. <coughs> that's a talent, dude. Listen, a dude listened to a line. That's like me saying, I love cats. And then he takes that sentence, right? Somehow figures out a way to cut like the... Of course, I know it's not true. I'm just saying. I'm joking. I'm saying. And cuts <laughs> away in between the words to make a whole nother meaning out of it. How did he get... Like, because he took the word pills, right? And cut it so it made spills. I'm like... Nigga, that's like... This nigga started rounding letters. How you round the letters? You rounded, you rounded to the, the, the closest idea. Yo, he took a letter from one word and said, this goes into this. But that's what I'm saying. Think about the talent it takes to find one word and be able to, like, reassemble that sentence so it grammatically makes sense but means something completely else. That dude has too much time on his hands. He definitely, like, that's the definition of bar for bar. Like this. Is- shout out to him for 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 trying to, to trying to break it down though. That's a fact. All right, I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm not gonna lie to you. This that one, was <laughs> this one's top three worst one. This one literally made me throw my phone. I did literally, nigga. I had to go get a new cell phone after I read this shit. Listen, this nigga said the fish skeleton hanging on MGK's ear on the kill shot know. photo. Represents yep. an old time mafia cease and desist warning. So I want to know was that dude in the old time mafia? Does he know somebody in the old time mafia? Or did he really see that and Google it? Listen, I put nigga under that one because I was so. <laughs> I, I was. I was. That shit shot out. I'm going to be like, yo, son, you looking and di- this nigga unt- unturning rocks. Trying to find something. How did that? I, like, how did you even right, notice you know, this nigga's earring? But here's what I'm saying. MGK wears that. Uh, let me because let me also try to break it down for people who are literally believing this in our mat. MGK. That's just a picture of MGK's face. I'm pretty sure that's a literal picture of MGK's face where they took it from a different picture. MGK wears that earring all the time. So not only is it a crazy conspiracy <laughs> theory because you're hyper paying attention, but you're also not paying attention to the bare minimum thing of MGK's face. Like, how do you pay? How do you spend all your time paying attention to the to the caterpillar in the road that you missed the freight train that's about to hit you? Like, this one yeah. had me like I was literally reading that like dog. We gotta stop. Like my yeah, eyes the whole thing. To get the loose. reason why we even made this video is because it's dope that people break down stuff. It's dope that people. I just wanted to see how far people took it. And also, we're not talking about the people who just think this and we just let it rock. We're talking about the people who are arguing this. Who their whole crust of their argument is on. I'm gonna let you. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna do that one. I'm gonna let, so basically, the fish, the fish scale thing or the fish whatever has nothing to do with mafia stuff. Come on, definitely throwing that one out the window. I'm gonna tell you the next one, dog. This one, I'm not gonna lie. This one's top three too. This one's top. You have I, I, I think I only cho- told you two prior to this, but this one, boy. All right, so boom. In the lyrics. Lethal injection, go to sleep. Six feet deep. I'll give you a B for effort. The letter B. But if I was number three feet, 11, number 11, you'll look up to me. Eminem, Eminem tells you a code. Oh six B three eleven, and if you Google search it, shows an upcoming Nordic flight on September twenty first, the day MGK will will release binge EP. It's Nordic flights tracking page Nordic dream time, like M mentions earlier in the song. Nigga, I cannot make this shit up. Okay, 
We have got to stop. Yo, if if after you heard that one, you didn't think that this was video worthy, you tripping, nigga. Listen, that put me in a different. I feel like I, I'm I'm more lifted. I, I, I feel like that got me drunk. Yo, son, <laughs> it definitely makes you go cockeyed when you think about it. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. How? How did you do that? Like, he said this nigga saying. gave me a code. He said he spoke to me in a different language, and I'm telling but I'm, you. But doesn't it, isn't it kind of wild? Like, yeah, it's hilarious how wrong they are. But the fact that these <laughs> things line up, what does it take for somebody who doesn't like, who has never told any other stuff to find that out? Like, what, what level of, that is, that is, how? Like, how did he know to type in those numbers? Why those numbers? And how did he know going back to Nordic? Bruh, listen. Hey. <clears throat> listen. Nigga, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> All I'm saying is, whoever's on that, whoever's on that I would have not went. If I had that ticket for that flight, I would not have went. <laughs> if I saw that comment. You might have to not go. Crazy. You might have to not go. All right, so boom. This next one, I, I don't remember. Um, Yo, exactly. by the way, by far, that's that. Hands down is the craziest one, by far. Like, that's almost like scary. Yeah, that one's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I might have one other one that's crazy like that too, but that one's definitely crazy. But you should have said that for the last. That <laughs> it was a banger. Some of these aren't all like conspiracy theories. They're more just like shit that I'm like, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's up in the air. This one says. <clears throat> The mumble rapper part was Eminem saying that he put out Rap Devil but wasn't metaphorically saying anything. And lucky in Lucky You, Eminem stresses what, what he feels like mumble rapping is. Eminem says, but nothing is feeling like anyone has effing ability to even stick to a subject is killing me. The inability to pen humility, ha ha ha, ba ta ta. Why don't we make a bunch of effing songs about nothing and mumble them? Eminem was stating that Rap Devil had no real content. Your old disses in complimenting him. Now, since that person, that was like by far the least craziest one. Like I could even yeah, that's that's why I said that before I even said that. Off yeah, it's it's a bit of a reach. Yeah, yeah. But I could even just because they're able to explain why they feel that, and because I was gonna say it's crazy until you got Eminem mumble rap. You're not saying anything. Wrong. Right, because right, then, right, right. Then he, even though I know that's not what he meant, he left it open for somebody to be able to make that art because that's Correct. literally what he said. Yeah, yeah. But that's not what he meant. You Absolutely. Like, yeah, no, I agree with that. That's why I said that before I even said that one because I was like, this isn't necessarily like a, a conspiracy theory. It's more right. just your way I'm of interpreting. I'm, I'm stuck on that other one. Listen, like. Who who is that? Who is who who? What sniper? What Levoy Malvo is, is that? Because I don't even like, know if I want to say his name. I might fuck no, no, around and say, catch a Don't bullet. say their name. Don't say their name because they're one hundred percent gonna find your coordinates. By That's what video. I'm saying. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> just know by by how your beard is cut. They're gonna definitely find. He definitely knows right exactly. Doing. They're definitely a, a shooter on the roof right now, like currently, like as we're speaking. Yo, shout out to that guy. I need him on my team. Uh, next one. D I'm not gonna lie. This one is literally like. Okay, this one's extremely long. So I'm just gonna skim through parts of it because, like, I was about to say, give us the summary. <laughs> It says, what I really hate about this conversation at this point is why we're all skipping over the fact that MGK basically harassed Eminem for six years until he finally got the response he wanted. Now that he is getting what he asked for, it's suddenly everyone else's fault. I agree the physical altercation should be ha or shouldn't be happening. I also think MGK should learn his place. He may want to be a badass and pretend to be a thug, but eventually he's going to pay for it. If he if he would have ignored that guy, um, they're speaking about the punching incident. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah he wanted with beef Eminem. He got it losing and started to make stupid moves. But everyone, but it's now everyone else's fault? Question mark. I will straight let you make an ass of yourself before you make an ass out of both of us. And it's the summary. Nah, but it's like some of it's kind of important, I guess. But yeah, basically he's just saying I'm looking at both sides, and yeah, people should let them to beef or beef and be done. I was in the position MGK. And I would have uh, let them make themselves look stupid, but instead of giving off, giving off the look of someone who has no composure and is willing to get into whatever altercation he sees fit. 
So I mean, that one was one that I more so agreed with. I didn't think that that I was. was about to say, I agree with yeah. almost everything that was said. Now. Yeah, yeah, no. Some of these are, are <laughs> ones that I was agreeing with, but I think was just like highlights and shit like that. So um, I picked that yeah. one because, like, you know, I, it's not. I don't want to just highlight everyone who's <laughs> wrong. You know, like this is a person. Nah, that that's what we're here for. Definitely, definitely speaking facts too. Nah, we we here to highlight everybody who said some crazy shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some right, some right stuff. But yeah, I mean, y'all get y'all love with when we comment back. We, we we never show love to to the people with the most yeah bat. These niggas is jumping out the window. With Definitely this one. jumping out the fucking window, dog. Um, the next one wasn't even long. It was just short, but it was just one of those things. I was just like, oh my god. But somebody's saying that the when MGK got punched in the in the balls, that that shit was fake. Which is like, I don't really know how that could be fake. Why it was fake or he he say? said, the guy that tapped MGK's ballsies was staged and fake. I think he just can't take an L. And I was like, I mean, okay. Well, like, I don't get, well, what are you trying to say? You're going both ways with that one. Are you implying that MGK had set it up and it was fake? I think that, that he's saying that, yeah, I believe that he's saying that MGK getting punched was fake, which I don't. For what? Like, sympathy? Or? I don't even... But, it, like, are they saying, like, he didn't get punched? Like, that would... That's what I'm saying. You're going everywhere with that one, because... <laughs> like, what? I read that shit, and I was like, what are you talking about, dog? Like, regardless <laughs> it was, was fake, you still got punched. You know what I mean? What was the other one? I don't even understand what you what where you're going with that, but... What was the other one that you said that was almost as crazy as the... the oh, I don't know. I haven't got to it yet. The um, coordinates? Yo... I got typed in the flight for Nordic. Listen. How did you find... Bro, like I'm not going to lie. The other one that has been... That I've seen commonly... I screenshotted a, a few times. But... Um, one of the narratives that's being pushed recently... That's like absolutely like driving me crazy... Is that... Apparently they're saying that MGK wrote this disc six months ago. Because he had an inside source of Interscope that told him that this was coming out. Somebody had uh, somebody had said that on one of my live streams, and I mean, I I thought that that might could have possibly could possibly at be first a at first I thought that too, but then until the Breakfast Club interview. Well, that and then when you like listen to the song and listen to what he says, he's literally saying shit that happened like just recently. So it's like uh, like what like okay. what though. Um, hold on, because the whole reason why I even said that was because, um... Because I thought that too. I guess the trick, trick shit. But if he heard the end of the song, then he would know that. How would he... But they didn't say he heard the Eminem song, though. They said that he got an inside source that if, that MGK was going to be getting dissed by him. I heard that he got an inside source. They're, signed, they're both signed to Interscope, so him hearing the song isn't far first. Yeah, but didn't, um, didn't, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, it's that's possible. That's what I'm saying, it's like, in that album, and he dissed him on the album, too, so I'm sure that shit, and they dropped it right away, so that shit was done a while ago, and it's it's not far-fetched. That, I thought it was crazy, too, until I realized they both signed the Interscope, and I was like, wait, that's not even crazy. Well, that's there was a lot of, of people, though, that, I mean... I'm not going to lie, when I based my answer off that one, when I said about uh, about him having shit in there about that currently, it was more like the people, the, what I'd seen it in the live stream too, and people were rebuttaling in the live stream saying, oh no, but he said this line, and he said this line. Um, I don't know though, so that could, I mean, that could partially be true. So Everything that's not, he said was about not alike. He didn't, say, he didn't speak on anything yeah. about anything after them. Yeah, I'm looking through the lyrics right now, and I don't, yeah. Nah, and man. I literally, that's why I said I came to that realization on the live stream that, wait, that's very possible. That's not even crazy. They're on the same label, like, that definitely could have been sent down to him. Especially if he hears M is coming back, Interscope's going to shut down, right. so he knows. And then him hearing a song, especially, like, he's hearing a song. Yeah. That's not crazy at all. 
Maybe he thought he wasn't going to drop it. Maybe he thought he was going to change it. So then when he did drop it, he popped bottles right away. That's fact. Then he had a diss track right away. <clears throat> oh, yeah, because that's right what away. he was trying to say in the Breakfast Club was that he recorded that in the same room that he popped the bottles in right next to it. And all that shit was at, like, the same time. Yeah, so, I mean, that could be, you know, I don't know. I mean, that could be true. That could not be. I mean, yeah, I don't think I that's necessarily crazy too, so stupid. I thought about it. But that's definitely one that I've seen. That's definitely a conspiracy theory that I've seen a lot. <laughs> Still yeah. a conspiracy theory nonetheless, you know what I mean? Until it's proven, yeah. But you got to uh, go to the Diddy ones. I want to see the, the Diddy line ones. Those are the best ones. There's obviously the kill shot to movie about a gunner who is out. Man character, Colson, which is MGK's name. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Here's one of the crazy. Oh. This one got a circle around it. You know that one's crazy. All right, so boom. <laughs> I think almost everyone missed a huge point in this diss. <laughs> on the 7th of September, Eminem went live on Instagram. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, before you go. You know it's crazy as soon as it starts with a specific date. Nigga, this shit got bullet points. Specific... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, this shit definitely crazy, dog. Yo, so, on the 7th of September, Eminem went live on Instagram playing Pac-Man for seven straight minutes while hit, playing, playing Hit Him Up by Tupac. September 7th, the day Pac got shot. Playing Pac-Man, MGK has a tattoo of Pac-Man right across his collarbone, neck, meaning he wanted to cut his head off. Hit, hit Him Up, a diss song from Tupac to Diddy and Biggie. What does not M, serious. What does M say in the song? But Kells, the day you put out a hit is the day that Diddy admits that he put a hit that got Pac killed. What the fuck just happened? He's not serious. Dang it. Whoever that was, they weren't serious. They're playing. They're playing. That's all it is. Bruh. I don't even got a rebuttal for that. My man. nigga said, playing Pac-Man. MGK I mean, has I'm a, not gonna lie, that Pac-Man one, a lot of people were telling me that a long time ago, though. When he came out playing Pac-Man. That he has a, uh, that the reason why he was playing Pac-Man was because he has a tattoo of Pac-Man? That's yeah. the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. That's like... M doesn't do that often. But I mean, my nigga, it's, it's Pac-Man. It's not like... I bet you that's the only fucking game that he could find. Like, what? How many I mean, arcade games are there? Video. When you when you drop, it, it was just a video of him playing Pac-Man. He has like two videos. When you and before Kamikaze dropped, he dropped a video like that where it was just like random planes. And people didn't know why until Kamikaze dropped. So that definitely meant something. He was trying to say something with that. If that wasn't it, I don't know what he was. But it wasn't just. I like Pac-Man. That's not what it was. There was a, a meaning behind that. It wasn't just like a I like Pac-Man one. Have you seen that? I mean, yeah, but like, how would that? How would you relate that to him? Like, MGK literally has like a thousand fucking tattoos. Like, he could have literally been doing anything like that that he has on his body. But the one that's going across his neck is the Pac-Man one. So, but what would he be saying by playing Pac-Man? That he knows how to play Pac-Man better than him or something? Like play. No, nah, it could be like with the planes were cryptic. It, the planes didn't mean that. So, nigga, you trying to tell me that you think that this actually might be the reason why this nigga was playing that? I mean, you'd have to explain. Have you seen the video of him playing Pac-Man? Like, yeah, it's like just him just sitting there playing Pac-Man. There is a reason beyond. If you think that he just put that up there because he wanted to play Pac-Man. Yeah, but this crazy. is what I'm saying. Like, I could literally say the reason why he was playing rapper... I mean, the reason why he was playing Pac-Man because he was symbolizing him eating these rappers up. I mean, that's cool, but when you're literally in the middle of, like... He wasn't beefing. only beefing with MGK at the time. MGK he, I mean, hadn't the even... Person that, wait, had MGK... No, I don't think I'm MGK. Sure, no, nah, I think MGK had responded. Yeah. Rap How long ago out. did MGK? He could have. That might and have been I, the day before. Well, you got to explain to me why. Uh, other than that, I mean, that makes more sense than just I like Pac Man. <laughs> this is the other one. Um, I was confused by this one. I kind of read it, and I don't know if I'm tripping or what, but it says. I see the Diddy line as a diss on MGK. Full verse says, the day MGK puts out a hit record is the day that Diddy admits he got pot killed. 
Diddy would never do that, meaning MGK will never put out a hit record. <laughs> and I was is like, somebody, am I is tripping? Is somebody over explaining it's like, Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, am I tripping? Like, I read this like thirty times, but I'm pretty sure this like just said the same thing twice. Just is just somebody who just realized it, like as he was typing it, like, oh shit, that's what it means, and didn't realize like everybody else already got it. Like, yeah. I this was one that I really didn't understand either. May, you might understand more. Maybe reading out loud will change it, but it said you're missing the meaning on the line called the Interscope and you're Swayze. Continues into talking, uh, taking food out of your daughter's mouth. It means yeah. M blacklisted MGK via a call to Interscope Records. It has nothing to do with Haley. It took me a thousand listens to figure that out. Uh, actually, yeah, he could be right about that too. But what does that exactly mean? He's saying that because the line he goes, "One call to Interscope and you're Swayze." Yeah. Right. People were saying that means. One call to Interscope and your ghost. Patrick Swayze's ghost. Yeah. But it could also mean one call to Interscope and your... What he said, actually? I'm tripping. What he, he said, you're missing the meaning on the line called... No, no. Okay. Don't read the whole thing. What was the last part? He said, like, one call to Interscope and your... Um, expl explain the Swayze. He part. said it means M never blacklisted MGK via a call to Interscope Records. It's nothing to do with Haley. It took me a thousand listens to figure that out. Oh, no, he wrong. Uh, because he doesn't, that, you're just missing the whole Swayze. He, unless you missed, unless you didn't read a part, he didn't explain the Swayze line there. Why did he say Swayze if that's just the case? But that is basically what he's saying. Nobody said yeah. it had to do with Haley. No, nah, I just was confused. I, that was just a theory that I was just like, I don't know what the fuck this nigga talking about, but all right. Um, let me see. Another one, another one of the Kells, the day that you put out a hit on Diddy is the day he missed that he put out a hit, meaning never, because Diddy never put a hit, so MGK yeah. will never put out a hit. Yeah, we already know um, that. What is the number one? Somebody said that the Breakfast Club was deleting comments off of that interview. I don't know if that's true or not about Diddy. It might have been. Could have been, I don't know. That's, I mean, just a theory. I mean, Diddy owns it basically, so it makes sense. Yeah, those are the those are the main ones I got. Yo, so those the, there's a couple crazy ones in there. A couple of them I kind of agree with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, I uh, did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's definitely some some wild ones. Put your favorite one in the in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of y'all believe in the and the, explain with facts. You know. Hold on, but what's your what's the one that you think is the absolute worst one? Outside of these ones, what do you think the absolute worst? Like those are all the ones I've heard. You haven't heard any other thing. Well, I'm saying okay, so even I heard, out of I these, heard new ones in that. I heard new ones in that. Oh, you heard new ones? Yeah. Like I, what? I heard, like the coordinate joint. That's by far the craziest. Oh, one. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're that's, saying. That's yeah. that's nowhere like that's no, so by far the craziest it. one that it's not even close. Like that got me like, yo, who is that nigga? I'm about to block that nigga. <laughs> I'm playing, bro. <laughs> yo, but I'm not yo. gonna lie. I still the most annoying one to me is still the Colson Baker kill shot shit. That's the still like. And you just read over that joint. Cause like, yo, yeah, cause it just makes no. Shit. It just. Like, bro, okay, so let me get this straight. Because I'm pretty sure the Colson Baker character wins or something like that in the end or something like but that. But like, even if he didn't, sense. like, do you... But this is the thing that fucks me up. Even if he didn't win, right? How, why would you think that that song would be kill shot because of the movie and not of any other thing... That well, like kill shot. Him. There's like a million other ways that I could have told you why kill shot. Kill shot is literally like exactly what it is. Like oh, like the first one I just wounded you, and now I'm about to kill you. So you don't think he just named the song kill shot because you know kill shot, not a movie. <laughs> like, do you really think Eminem was sitting there like? Hold on, let me go to my 1992 movie collection and find this movie called Kill Shot about a man that has a nigga named Colson Baker. Like, nigga, he could have done that for any movie. 
He could have literally been like, he could have named the song fucking Sincere. And then been like, I named it Sincere because in Belly, his name, and he got a belly tat. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, like that, no. That made no sense. But yeah, man. Conspiracy theories. Let us know what the best one that you heard, the dumbest shit that you heard, the funniest shit, the truest shit, whatever you want to know. Let us know in the comment section. Hey, yo. What up? I'm going to name it Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, comment, subscribe. Nigga, Monthly Monthly Podcast Monthly. Episode, Monthly. Uh, I don't know, 26. 26. 26. 26. 26 of them. <laughs> <laughs>